Hello sweeties, we are back with our very first Christmas video, so I'm so excited to show you these gorgeous pink and gold set of cookies that you can have on your Christmas table this year. We're going to be using a brand new candy cane stencil that I've purchased from a small Australian business, Sweet Sticks, and show you just how easy it is to make beautiful cookies at home. Let's get into it. First, I'm just going to pop some corn flour on my bench using my favourite puff. You know I love my puff. And now I've got some bakehouse ready to roll fondant in pink and I've just mixed that through with some white to make it lighter shade. And I'm just gonna, oh. <laughs> I'm just gonna gently roll it, not aggressively. Now when you are using a stencil, you can have some wastage because anything that gets the color of the luster on the outside edge, it will change the color of the fondant. So to minimize the waste, I use the same cutter before I put, apply the stencil. And we're just gonna cut that off and put that away. Now we're gonna take our stencil on our shape and we're just loosely gonna lay it on top but then we're gonna gently roll to get that stencil to stick to the icing. You can see when the icing starts to come through the missing bits of the stencil and it's nice and stuck, it's ready to go. As you can see, that's nice and flush with the icing and the stencil. So now we're ready to add our activator. This is created by Sweet Sticks and it's, it's such an amazing product. I don't know how I lived without it before. It's a sticky adhesive that you can just add into a paint pellet. You only need a few drops at a time. Then take a good quality paintbrush and gently just wipe that onto the stencil. You don't need much here and you wanna keep going over it with your paintbrush until you feel it gets nice and tacky because then that means our metallic dust will stick very easily. Now that we've got our adhesive on, we're just going to take your favourite luster dust. Today I'm using the Sunkiss Gold by Sweet Sticks. It's a beautiful metallic gold and I'm just going to go ahead and dab that onto the stencil. Once you have your gold or any colour of your choice on the stencil, we're ready to gently peel it away. This is where you're going to be patient because sometimes it can get sticky, but we're going to slowly peel that stencil away from the icing and we're going to have our beautiful pattern revealed. The most exciting part. Oh, look at that perfect golden stencil. I just am obsessed with these products and they come in all different shapes and patterns and they just look absolutely incredible. Okay, now that we've got our pattern ready, I'm just gonna go ahead again with that same cutter and just cut it out to remove that excess fondant. We're just gonna pick that up lightly and I like to flip it over into my hand and use a bit of water on the back. But of course you can use sugar glue if you prefer. And then I just flip that onto my cookie. Fondant is great because you can kind of manipulate it while it's soft to meet your cookie shape and make the edges look nice and smooth. And there we have it. There's our metallic pink candy cane cookie. And now I can show you the other two cookies to complete this set. When I'm making a set of cookies, I like the colors to work really well together. So I take some of the original color we were using and then I'm just gonna add some white to lighten it, which means they'll still be in the same tone, which will look a lot better than having them all different tones throughout the box. Now I'm just gonna go through and roll that lighter pink fondant. And I'm just gonna roll this to the correct thickness that I'd like it on my cookie. So usually that's two to three millimeters. Now I choose the section of the fondant that looks the best to cut just my single cookie. Today I'm gonna to be embossing this beautiful Merry Christmas stamp that I purchased online. It's a fondant embossed stamp, so you can easily just push that into the fondant and get a pattern. So I've chosen this one with this beautiful swirly big M. It's one of my favorite Merry Christmas stamps, but you can choose any online that you like. You can keep reusing them every year too, which is great. You can just change up your colors and it looks like a whole new set. So I'm just gonna gently press that into my fondant. And you just want a firm, even pressure. And then gently lift up that stamp. And as you can see, this stamp is absolutely stunning. I'm just going to gently pick up the icing and flip it over once again and stick that on my cookie. As you can see, this stamp pretty much has a lot of wow factor, doesn't need many decorations. So all I'm going to do is go through with my Moorish Cakes Glitter Pump. I love these glitter pumps, especially this gold one, it's absolutely beautiful. Beware though, you will be covered in glitter afterwards, so this is not for the glitter haters. As you can see, it is very glittery and it's absolutely stunning on the cookie. As you can see, I think I have more on me than on the cookie, but that's the way Christmas is meant to be. Nice and glittery and fun. 
Okay, for our third and final cookie for the set, I'm just going to take that medium shade of pink and white as we've done previously. Now we're going to go in with the favourite cornflower puff again. As you know, that keeps our icing from sticking, so very important. So for this cookie, I'm using a 3D raised embosser. These are a little bit more tricky, so a little bit more advanced than using just your imprint, as we'll need to roll the fondant to get a nice imprint on there. So I've just left the fondant a little bit thicker than I would normally. And I'm going to face my 3D debosser upright so the textured pattern is facing up and lay your icing over the top. Now we're just going to put some pressure from above with the rolling pin and gently roll that onto the stamp. This doesn't always come out perfect first go and it doesn't always for me either so don't stress if you have to redo it, you can re-roll your icing and start again. It's a fine balance between getting the fondant too thick or too thin, gently flip it over and so gently to release it. Now that we've got our pattern in our fondant, because I am using a round cutter today, unfortunately it's not going to fit as the plate wasn't big enough, so I'm just going to take my rolling pin and very gently roll over those lines just to try soften them so they're not so harsh. Now once you have your side smoothed out slightly, we're just going to go ahead and cut your round. Once you've gone ahead and taken your cutter and cut out your fondant where you like the pattern the best, you're just going to go ahead the same and stick that onto your cookie. Now I've just stuck that on the cookie and I'm just smoothing it out. And I think this one needs some glitter too because we've got some nice shiny gold on all the cookies so far. So I think we need to add some beautiful glitter as well. This one I'm not going to add as much just so you can still see that pattern behind it. But when it does catch the light it looks absolutely stunning. And now we have our beautiful complete pink set. If you are like me and love pink, this is the perfect way to greet your guests on Christmas this year. If you do want to go more traditional, of course you can change these colours to any that you wish as well. I'll be having lots more Christmas content coming your way, so make sure you like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Stay sweet!